the best thing about every roblox anime game so today i feel like being positive i've already done the worst thing about every roblox anime game so let's now go over what's the best thing about every roblox anime game that i can think of now without further ado let's get straight into this discussion starting with the most popular roblox anime game blocks fruits the best thing about blocks fruits is nothing the game sucks Just kidding, the best thing about Blog Streets is probably the amount of content that the game has to offer. As far as fruits and the amount of islands that are in the game as well. And Blog Streets also has great mobile support which is the main reason the game pulls over 200k every day. Along with the three C's you can explore with your friends. I personally don't like Blog Streets, but I can see how you can sink hours into it with a group of friends. Now by yourself, I'm not sure how people do it because you can literally go insane by just playing Blog Streets by yourself for like more than an hour. Grand Peace Online. The best thing about Grand Peace Online is you guessed it, the graphics in the combat. That, of course. Grand Peace Online managed to pioneer an entire series of games just by having amazing graphics and great combat. The graphics are the main reason you see games like Project Slayers and Project Mugatsu running around today, and it's the main reason why most developers want to have good graphics in their game. The combat is smooth and yeah, it has its problems, but you cannot sit here and say that it doesn't have good combat mechanics compared to other One Piece games on the platform. GPO does have its issues, albeit, but is arguably the best One Piece game on the platform to this day almost three years later. King's Legacy. I guess the best thing about this game would be be the fruits and some of the models and the zones that the game has because as far as zones go in the game it's probably the best you're gonna get until real seas comes and knocks this game off the map project slayers the best thing about project slayers has to be the effects on the breathing styles and blood demon arts you can say a lot of things about project slayers but you cannot sit here and say that the game doesn't have good effects and good graphics because as far as the demon slayer games go this game has the best graphics and effects out of any demon slayer game we have ever seen whoever scripted and made the effects for project slayers did an amazing job even the models for the areas such as the mugen train are pretty good as far as quality goes, Project Slayers is probably the best you're going to get for a Demon Slayer game. There's a reason the game could still pull over 10k players without an update in almost 6 months. <laughs> it's still arguably the best Demon Slayer game we've gotten in the past years since Demon Fall. Speaking of Demon Fall, that is the next game. The best thing about Demon Fall probably is the amount of Demon Slayer content they have in the game currently. As of right now, Demon Fall is the only Demon Slayer game still alive that has Moon and Sun Breathing as well as Breathings like Stone Breathing. As far as Demon Fall content goes, it probably has the most out of any Demon Slayer game on the market that is semi-decent and is still alive the other game has tons of issues and the game has been updated almost a year and it has been essentially abandoned by the devs <laughs> But the game still to this day has plenty of content that you can sit down and play. So if you haven't played Demon Fall yet and you're just bored, I suggest you go and play it. Shindo Life and Shinobi Life 2. The best and worst thing about this game probably has to be the consistent updates. The reason this is a blessing and a curse is because Shindo Life usually either gets decent updates from time to time or just horrible updates give or take. You cannot deny the sheer amount of work real games have put into this game. I mean over 200 content updates adding bloodlines and different features to the game. Some of the bloodlines are actually really well modeled out, but some of these can get really unbalanced which can lead to some really bad meta shifts when it comes to pvp but although shindo isn't really my favorite game of all time it is still the only game i know that gets consistent updates for this long and for this many years so you have to applaud the real brothers for what they've been able to accomplish project Mugetsu. it hurts even saying this game's name sometime but i have to say something positive about this game i guess because this is a positive video the best thing about project Mugetsu is probably the effects and graphics because everything else in the game is pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> and since everything is pretty bad, the one shining light that the game has is its graphics, which for a Bleach game look great. And the only reason this game is even even looks that good is because of the borrowed assets from another good looking game, which is Project Slayers. So yeah, that's like the only compliment I have for this game. You guys already know how I feel about Project Mugetsu, so let's just move on. Reaper 2. The best thing about Reaper 2 is probably the PvP aspect of the game, because the PvE is horrible just like, well, other Bleach games. The cool Bankai that you guys are game presents you with is some really, really Really cool pvp is probably some of the best parts of the game although it is not the best bleach game in the world it is still not the worst bleach game so let me know in the comments what do you think is better project Mugetsu or reaper 2 bro cool a lot of you guys seem to really love this game but in this comment fujoshi a subscriber in the channel says that still in my opinion the most fun and quick pvp system on roblox the visuals are awesome and the amount of variety is insane the kagodai and the Pakuja look great and the skills never feel lackluster not a perfect or balanced game but a great one compared to most roblox anime games Games. Rogul, if I'm not mistaken, is a pretty old game according to this guy, but it still holds up quite well. We haven't received a Tokyo Ghoul game in quite some time, probably because the anime is terrible and season 3 was so bad, but Rogul still holds a special place in many people's hearts and this means that it's probably still a great game to go back to to this day. YBA, I think we all can agree the best thing about YBA is the stands themselves and the combat with the stands and it's probably still the best JoJo game on the platform. Uzuki and his dev team were able to make a really 
great looking game and have really great looking stands that resemble the anime in the best way. The combat skills and skill trees are pretty in-depth for a Roblox JoJo game and it's arguably still the best on the platform. The combos you can pull off and just how each stand feels different from each other is what makes the game special and what has made it special for so many years. The storyline of YBA, although not being the best, also is still great for what it is. It makes grinding linear and foam to friends. Anime Dimensions The best thing about Anime Dimensions is the dungeon gameplay in progression, which for some can be really repetitive and I'm more on the repetitive side, but I can see how Anime Dimensions can be really addicting, especially since each character has their own strengths and weaknesses when entering a dungeon. And of course, with friends, this game is a lot better like every other Roblox anime game. Now on to two tower defense games, starting with all-star tower defense the best thing about ACD probably has to be that the game has two times speed now and the game is a lot more generous to free-to-play players the damage task when i played gave me plenty of gems and i never felt like i need to sign my life weights in order to get good units in the game i haven't played ACD in a while now so maybe some things have changed but in my experience i didn't spend a single bit of robux to get a decent team the progression in ACD is also pretty fun with friends and it's why it's one of my favorite robux anime games because i primarily play with a group of people it's just a simplistic tower defense game Game that you could play without trading away all your limbs for a seven star ultra ssr sparking you anime adventures i'd argue that anime adventures is a bit worse than acd as far as the monetization goes inside the game but i think the best part of anime adventures is the vfx in the towers compared to acd which to its credit acd is a very old game but 90 percent of the time you are going to be looking at your units doing the same attack over and over again so it is good to have some good effects to look at so i see why people may prefer anime adventures over acd because it simply looks cooler i mean even the maps are designed better i mean in my opinion anime adventures is a lot more pay to win though and you probably have to give out an arm and a leg and give out 20 hours of your time just to get a good unit in this game but the units you do receive i guess do look cool so that's your trade-off both tower defense games have their pros and cons but look decent in their own right now on to anime battlegrounds games of roblox starting with aba the best thing about aba is you guessed it the large roster of characters in the brain dead combat the large roster of characters does lead to the game being very unbalanced but it does give people the opportunity to play some of their favorite characters that most are viable to play with well most being basically any character made from par but still the combat is still some of the best we've seen in roblox with an intricate air combat system aba keeps people playing for years like literally aba is still in my opinion the king of roblox anime battlegrounds games heaven's arena the best part of heaven's arena is probably the amount of work they put into each individual character and trying to personalize them to make them feel different the thing that separates heaven's arena from aba is that some characters have their own voice lines as such that make them feel like their own characters character also the game has given their own emotes to their characters as well i don't really enjoy the combat of heaven's arena but some would even say that's the best part of the game i appreciate them making every character feel a little like themselves with the little features they add with every update this comment here highlights that their favorite thing about the game is that it doesn't feel cheap and requires skill a reborn the best thing about a reborn is that it's unbalanced <laughs> now let me explain the reason it being unbalanced is actually a good thing because people actually playing a reborn don't actually care about the balance of the game so the devs can just add all the busted characters that they want with no backlash from the community so this is actually great no but seriously the best thing about a reborn is the unique characters they add sometime like recently they added beast gohan and ssj blue gogeta which are two unique characters you don't usually see in battlegrounds games but i guess that's a good thing saitama battlegrounds the best thing about saitama battlegrounds is simplistic combat the reason saitama battlegrounds is so popular is because it's very simple to pick up and play which is why so many people love it to this day so you can also pull off some pretty creative combos with each move set that the game provides you with and a simplistic combat system actually could turn into something you could be kind of competitive in virtual commando comment is saying that it has the most fluid and smooth combat and the best graphics i don't know if i agree with the graphics part but i can say that the combat is pretty smooth and fluid i don't play a ton of saitama battlegrounds but it's definitely a fun game to just hop on with friends and play around with some of the movesets that the game has fruit battlegrounds the best thing about fruit battlegrounds is the fruits of course fruit battlegrounds arguably has some of the best fruits we've seen like for example it is one of the only roblox games to even add a gear fourth to the game besides like a one piece game but yeah that game sucks um you could do some pretty cool combos with each of the fruits as well the only problem with them is adding a new fruit to the game it usually causes like the entire power balance of the game to just become really unbalanced i primarily used ice fruit in the game which was viable until other fruits came and made it irrelevant when you have fruits like gear fourth and goro which break the game in a way but the fruits are still pretty cool 
Now on to the first category of the video, AOT games. The best thing about AOT games is probably the addictive gameplay loop that most AOT games have. It may be as simple as killing a thousand titans, but as long as the ODM gear movement is smooth and AOT games can have you playing for hours killing titans around the map. A game I do however want to highlight is Titan Warfare, which is probably the most unique AOT game we've ever gotten. It has a team based system where you jump in as a Marlin or Ildian and battle it out in a battlefield style gameplay with team objectives and a different game modes easily the best aot game on the platform the game even has cool titan transformations which is always welcomed in aot games next category i want to talk about is dbz games the best thing about dbz games is the fact that in most dbz games the transformations are your main goal to unlock and have pretty cool effects and different mechanics to them depending on which game you decide to play i want to highlight one of my favorite dbz games of all time which is of course final stand final stand had a great world you can fly around and it has some some of the best pvp mechanics we had ever seen in a dbz game just like dream chaser said here it revolutionized anime games in general on roblox today for how unique the combat was i miss final stand in the glory days of dbz games even games like final remaster or even dragon Ball online generations were great hopefully one day roblox dbz games can be back on top now on to some honorable mentions which are games that are very popular in the roblox anime community even though they are not usually anime based arcane odyssey the best thing about arcane odyssey has to be the exploration and storytelling arcane odyssey is indeed my favorite roblox game that i have played recently the exploration is so in-depth that i find myself exploring the different islands 90% of the time playing the game. Each island has its own atmosphere and theme which promotes exploring throughout the storyline which is also really good in the game. Even the selling the seas is amazing in the game as well. I have lots of positive things to say about this game but I've already done an entire review of the game so let's just move on. Pilgrim, the best thing about Pilgrim is the simple RPG elements the game has. Similar to Voxel Blade or even Deep Woken, you can create unique builds in this game. The reason a lot of people love this game is because of the addictive nature of the progression as well as you run through the bosses and game drops that are actually benefit your character greatly there are multiple builds in a game that are very viable when progressing through the world of pilgrim pilgrim is just a simple rpg game that's fun to progress in with friends and i strongly recommend it to people who haven't played it yet voxel blade the best part of voxel blade is the unique sword progression mechanic in voxel blade the way you progress and get stronger is through your sword and its abilities it can unlock over time whoever came up with this idea for gameplay was a literal genius you can go with weapon types like quick crit, quick crit dagger builds say that a thousand times <laughs> all the way to great sword strength build not to mention the great ost for this game it's right up there with deep woken's ost and just the natural vibe of voxel blade it just gives troll vibes and i and many other people love it even exploring the world of voxel blade can be fun as you travel through the different parts of the game and level up your character the way raids were done in this game were also fantastically created so alongside the different features voxel blade is just another solid rpg that you can sink hours into without getting bored it's not perfect but it's great for what it is deep woken quite possibly the greatest roblox game of all time time is indeed deep woken the osts the atmosphere the gaming pay loop and of course the pve and pvp mechanics the game offers to the player is just insane you could honestly mistake deep woken for an actual game outside of roblox but i personally think the best part of deep woken that completes the experience is the combat and that's what separates it from other rpgs on roblox which is why there's a necessary skill ceiling for the game since the game is a roguelike souls type of game it is difficult your first few ways through but once you get the hang of the location's combat it becomes second nature to play same goes for the combat once you learn the parry system and learn your best class and build you can become great at deep woken there are a lot of qualities that make deep woken arguably the best game of roblox of all time but these are just some of the reasons why deep is so great and why everyone praises it so highly in the roblox anime community as well but that is it the best thing about every roblox anime game that i could think of if you have any additional games that you think should have been added give your best thing about them in the comments below but as i say in every video if you guys enjoyed this video and you like some more comments like this one please make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.